Hi guys, as promised, today I'll show you how I have managed to get lower temps on the new Ryzen 5900X without losing any performance. I'm using a Gigabyte B550 Aeros Pro AX motherboard and an Octa NHU 12V CPU cooler with silent adapters installed which basically limit the maximum RPM of the fans to 1700 RPM to make it as quiet as possible. This means that in idle I have an almost silent PC. Regarding temps in idle, the Ryzen 5900X hovers around 45 degrees Celsius with stock voltages and frequency and the ambient temperatures is around 25 degrees Celsius. For all you guys out there that have tried undervolting and you have crashes, I will provide a solution I have found to be well worth to have a stable and cool Ryzen 5000 CPU without any performance loss. Under load, the CPU often got to over 80 degrees Celsius especially in games where frequency is pushed higher for a few cores as not all the cores are used at max, like in multi-threaded productivity apps. So what I have done to limit this is to go into BIOS at the settings tab, select AMD overclocking, hit accept, select precision boost overdrive and set it to advanced. Then set the PBO limits from auto to motherboard as this will allow the motherboard to control power delivery and you should see higher performance with higher temps. Set the platform thermal throttle limit to manual and type 75 as the maximum degrees for the CPU temp. No matter what type of app you are using, the CPU won't get over 75 degrees Celsius. With these settings and limits set, I'm not losing any performance as you can see in the Cinebench test. The results are more or less the same for single and multi-threaded performance. You can experiment with different temps but I think 75 is the optimal one. Check out also the temperatures I get in gaming loads with different PBO settings. Even under Cinebench loads, the system is pretty silent as you can see and take into consideration I'm using an ITX Fractal Design Nano S case with very little airflow. Alright guys, I hope this video will help you get the most out of your new Ryzen 5000 series CPUs and if you found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Also, let me know in the comments about your experience with the PBO settings or if you found a better solution to cool these CPUs more without losing performance. I'll be also interested to find out what temps you get and what CPU coolers are you using for the 5900X. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.